All right, in this video, we are going to continue working on our adventures of Mario. In the last video, we took our coin that we made in video number two and just made some additional coins, some additional platforms to jump on, and now we have four points. We're gonna make this a little bit harder by actually adding things to avoid as well, uh, called Goombas, or the bad guys in Mario. So we're gonna actually have to place a Goomba or two or three on the screen. Uh, as well as create lives and an opportunity for Mario to lose some lives. So let's start by creating lives in the top right co left corner here. Uh, and we'll give Mario, let's say, two lives to start with. Um, and obviously, you can tweak all that. So global, we already have a section for counters. Let's add a variable called lives. And we're going to start with two. So Mario starts with two lives. Let's scroll down to our game code, and we're going to be able to copy and paste a lot of what we've already done for the scoreboard. So let's find where we've done our scoreboard here. Here we go, scoreboard. I'm just going to copy this whole chunk for the scoreboard and paste it for lives. And we just have to change a couple things. So points now becomes lives, colon. The Y position will remain the same, but let's just move it way over. Let's say 150. Score becomes lives, and let's move that to 200. All right, so all I've done is I've copied and pasted the scoreboard, changed it to lives, lives, and changed my X positions from uh, 50 to 150 and from 100 to 200. Let's press play. There we go. Point zero, lives two. Awesome. Let's add a Goomba on the screen. So in global, we gotta make a couple variables. Okay, we're gonna make a variable for our Goombas. So I'm just gonna make a section called Goomba, a variable called G1X for Goomba1. Okay, and let's just, I'm just guessing with positions here. Let's just say 200, I'm just gonna add a comment, G1 for Goomba1, okay var g1 y let's make that whatever the same as mario y is let's see p1 y is 375 so let's do 375 let's do var g width and i'm just going to make these exactly the same as player so p width is 50 so we'll do g width is 50 and var g height uh, is going to be 100 same as player height okay so there's our positions for the goomba one Let's go down to multimedia and make a variable called Goomba, like so. And let's go to our function preload and drop in our Goomba image. So Goomba is going to equal load image capital I with single quotations. And let's see what our Goomba image is called. So if I go to my files menu, it is called uh, Mario underscore Goomba dot PNG. So Mario underscore Goomba dot PNG. All right, there we go. Make sure that the spelling punctuation is exactly the same as the file that you're using. And let's just place this on our screen here. So I'm just going to go, uh, I'm going to go right below where we drew all of our coins. So I'm going to make a new comment called Goombas and Goomba1, we're going to say image, Goomba is going to be G1X, G1Y, G width, and G height. All that's going to be the same as however you typed it in global as far as capitalization. So I did capital X, capital Y, capital W, capital H. Let's press play. And there we go. We have our Goomba. He's a little too tall. And I also want to lower them a little bit. So let's play with our positions here. So we're going to go and say that Goomba height is going to be, let's say, 70. Okay. Let's lower him like 400. Um, let's press play, see what that looks like. That's better. All right. So there's our Goomba, bad guy from Mario. Okay. Now, when we hit the Goomba, we want to, of course, lose a point. All right. So, or lose a life, I should say. So let's make a collision for Goomba one. And this is going to look really similar to our coin collision. Okay. So let's go ahead and where's my Goomba right here. We're gonna make an if statement right below this guy. If P1X 
is greater than or equal to g1x minus g width divided by two. That's saying that we're greater than the left-hand side of the Goomba. And, and p1x is less than or equal to g1x plus g width divided by two. That's saying that we're uh, less than the right-hand side, so we're somewhere on top of the Goomba's width. And, and p1y is greater than or equal to g1 uh, y minus g height divided by two. So we're greater than the top of the Goomba. And, and p1y is less than or equal to g1 y plus g height divided by two. So we are greater than the left-hand side of the Goomba, but less than the right-hand side, greater than the top, but less than the bottom. Therefore, we're on top of the Goomba. So we're gonna go ahead and open that if statement. Hitting Goomba. So a couple things have to happen. If we hit the Goomba, we lose a life. So lives equals lives minus uh, one, right? That's what we called our variable, I think. Yes, lives minus one. Lose life. And we don't want the Goomba to disappear. Uh, the Goomba's gonna stay, the Goomba doesn't go away. Mario has to move, he has to go back to his starting position. Okay, so let's actually look in global. What do we set Mario to? His inis initial positions are right here, 400 and 375. So let's go ahead and set Mario's positions to be the same as where he started. All right, so we're gonna say uh, Mario, or no, sorry, P1X equals 400, P1Y equals 375. Okay, and then let's close, hit Goomba. And I'm just gonna drop a comment here, put Mario back at start position. All right, so if we, we lose a life, we go back to start. Okay, let's press play. There we go, so we lost a life, and we went back to start, if I do it again, boom. No lives, and clearly we'll actually add a game over screen uh, or something when that actually happens. Let's actually add a sound effect. So if you've made a fork of my program, you already have a sound uh, called Mario Life. Um, if not, it is posted on Classroom that you can download it from. Okay, so if you don't have the Mario Life sound here on the right-hand side because you didn't make a fork of my figs, uh, you can also grab it from the interactive programming class, Mario Life sound, you can click on this. Um, if you open it in a new window, you can then hit download and then actually hit select file and upload that Mario Life sound to your program if it's not already there. Uh, once you have your sound, let's go ahead and make a sound effect. So in global, we're just gonna make a variable called uh, life sound. We can call it Goomba sound, whatever you wanna call it. Then in preload, we're gonna say that life sound equals load sound uh, Mario underscore life dot M for A, exactly like it's spelled on the right hand side. And then, there it is. And then let's go to that hit Goomba if statement right here. Lives lost, Mario goes back to start position. Let's just say life sound dot play, parenthesis, parenthesis, semicolon. Okay, so that's gonna play the life sound when we lose a life. Here we go, press play. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna add one more Goomba. Uh, I'm gonna place them up on one of these platforms. Um, you can add as many as you'd like to really change the difficulty of your game. So in global, I'm just gonna make a G2 here. So let's just go to Goomba1. We're gonna say var G2x, and I'm gonna make him on one of the platforms. So I'm gonna say something like 550 var G2y is going to be, uh, let's say um, 100. Okay, so that's gonna put him on top of I believe platform number three, we'll see if I did that correctly. And then I'm going to copy and paste all of my Goomba for Goomba one. So I have Goomba one starting at line 215 and ending at line 223 from Goomba one to close hit Goomba, copying this whole chunk of code and pasting it Goomba 
2, all my G1s become G2s. So G2x, G2y, G2x, let's go G2x, G2y, and lastly, G2y. P1, the life sound, all that does not change. Okay, so that should place a second Goomba, let's see. There we go, right on top of this platform. So if I hit this guy, I die. And if I hit that guy, I lost a life as well. And right now we can go into negative lives. Uh, but in the next video, we're going to actually add a timer and we'll add a game over screen and a you win screen. So if you get all the points, you win. If you lose all, all your lives or if you run out of time, you're gonna lose. Keep up the great work.